What do you need? The tools that you will need to perform an environmental investigation include the following. Swabs and sponges, gloves if needed, sheet to record sampling sites, permanent markers to label sample bags, camera to take pictures of sampling sites, sticky notes to indicate sampling sites and pictures, cooler and cold packs to transport the samples back to the laboratory, trash bags for any trash that you generate, disposable shoe covers, which may be necessary depending on the circumstances and the rules of the facility. For example, you may want to wear shoe covers if it is a required procedure in a facility or if you are worried that facility personnel may raise concerns about cross-contamination. You'll also need a container to transport all of your sampling supplies. Last but not least, don't forget to have a sampling partner. It's recommended that you have more than one person on your sample collection team in order to meet all of the needs of an environmental investigation. Depending on the size of the facility or the number of samples you are going to take, you might want to bring one or two sampling partners. Make sure to check your Department of Health Tools checklist as they may require you to bring more supplies for collection of food and environmental samples. Remember to check that your supplies are intact. As you are collecting your supplies, look closely for signs of damage, tearing or leaking from the package. Check for product expiration dates, and if a package is crushed or torn in any way or the expiration date has passed, discard and replace the item. You must start with sterile supplies. In addition to getting your tools together, there are other preparation activities you typically should do. You want to talk to the laboratory personnel so they know what to expect upon receiving samples. What is their capacity and how many samples can they handle? What types of samples can they handle? Sometimes labs prefer swabs because they are easier to process and require less media and supplies, whereas sponges are more labor intensive. Sponges allow you to sample larger areas and have been proven to be more effective in bacterial recoveries. If you receive pushback on sponges, make sure to talk to them about the importance of using sponges. This communication with the laboratory assures that they are ready with the right supplies to deal with your samples quickly and ensures there are no surprises for your lab colleagues. A well-functioning sampling team is essential to accurately carrying out an outbreak investigation. Everyone on a sampling team should be assigned a role prior to the investigation, including, but not limited to, a person who swabs and a person who documents sample site locations. The individuals on the sampling team should understand their roles and why they are important to a successful investigation. You are now ready to sample.